Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and I'm here today doing the Alpha 10 series of my generic brand Galaxy Start. I used the alien planet to start with, and that was interesting. Um, I survived, and I am out in space now. So you can also see that I have finished building my little space base. It's not very big. It's, you know, not big at all, but that's fine. It has good enough functionality. Um, we got a full garden going now, so that's great. Actually, let's let's pick that really quick while we're here. Let's uh, connect to, which one is it? Is it this one that we connect to? Oh, we already are. Yeah, because I think I last time I picked it <laughs> okay so we'll just pick our garden really quick since I'm connected to the fridge it automatically just all goes into the fridge which is great and just a little bit more so I did pumpkins because they have the highest yield per plot for vegetables. I did spice because I need it. Um, big alien flowers because I need them. I decided for the fruit, I went with space oranges because they have the highest yield per plot. Uh, mushrooms, aloe vera, sprout, and wheat because wheat has the highest yield per crop. Um, other than that, like mushrooms and the aloe vera, you have no choice. There's That's all there is for that. Same with spice and buds. Those are the only, uh, or for, for buds, you can only get them from the alien flower and that's it. That's the only type of alien flower you can grow. This is the only type of spice you can grow. So there's no options there. Okay, so now that we've picked our garden, uh, let's just go up to here and you can see that we can make emergency rations because you can see I've actually been making a bunch too. Um, okay, so what we want to do is do we have enough? Let's see, we've got 20 spice that would only allow us to make six ration packs. Um, here, let's, oh, we can't eat a burger yet. So let's, let's just make, try and make 20. It'll only make six. Then we'll get back to that. So we can actually make enough emergency rations um, I haven't had to eat any of these yet. I've just been eating meat burgers in between. So when I run out of stuff to make emergency rations with, I still have lots left to make meat burgers with. So that's what I've been doing. And I've been eating the meat burgers and I've been leaving the emergency rations alone because they don't spoil. So you can take them with you and they don't weigh that much. They weigh the same amount as a freaking meat burger. Same volume and mass but these never spoil. You can see that this has a perish time, that doesn't. So that's why I make emergency rations. And to make emergency rations, you need spice, buds, fruit, and plant protein. Um, so unless you have a whole bunch of meat, uh, you still need the... I'm not sure if you need the plant protein if you have a whole bunch of meat. Oh yeah, you do for the uh, the energy bars. That there's like six energy bars in each one of these. So yeah, when you look at the yeah, let's go and I'll show you. Purify water one, hot beverage one, fruit juice two, energy bar six, and salami three. So to make six energy bars, uh, energy bars. Oh, there they are. I'm like, why do I not see energy bars? Uh, that requires two plant protein, 
and one vegetable makes two plant proteins. So one vegetable per energy bar. So you need six vegetables, you need three meat, you need three spice, six vegetables, three meat for the salami, three spice for the salami. So if you don't have the meat, you got to use plant protein to make it with. And then that's basically one and a half vegetables. So that would be um, four and a half vegetables to make the meat. And then you needed six for the plant protein. So that's four and a half. That's ten and a half vegetables per emergency ration. Holy crap, if you don't have the meat. That's a lot. Ten and a half vegetables. Wow. Okay. So I guess it consumes 11 because you can't consume a half one. Uh, but that would leave a protein left. But okay. And then hot beverage requires two buds. Okay. So that's you only get one bud per alien plant. So that requires two alien plants. We need three spice plants. We need, um, we get six vegetables per, we need two vegetable, we need two pumpkin plants, two spice, or sorry, three spice, two bud, two pumpkin, and, what was the th what was the fourth thing again? Fruit juice. So, fruit juice requires two fruit, and we it needs two of those. So that's four fruit. Uh, I think that's exactly how much the orange trees give off. So we need like one. So one orange tree, three spice, two alien flowers. Two plant or two pumpkin. So, in order to make one emergency rations, we need two bud plots. So, that's two plots there, or two alien plant plots, I should say. We need three spice plots. That's five. We need two. Um, two of the uh, pumpkin, so that's seven, and then one orange, that's eight. Eight grow plots are required per emergency ration. Wow. Okay. So, really, if you set it all up right, if you if you do it all correctly, um, that means 24 grow plots to make three emergency rations. Holy crap. <laughs> See, I can make five or six because I have... I have uh, uh, 45 grow plots. Yeah, so I can make five, four. I can make four, one, two, three, four, five. I can make five emergency rations per picking. Yeah, that's not much. But when the leftovers also make a bunch of meat burgers, it's tons, tons. So now I've got tons of emergency rations. So today I didn't want to boast about my garden because that's well, lame. I'm going to just show you around what I did here. Uh, so it looks empty, I know, but this will fill up with cargo. This is all going to be cargo in here pretty much. Once I start running out of space in the larger, these are, these are all, this is all cargo too. And so this one right here, 
is a maxed out cargo box. And this one, on the other hand, is not. that. I only have the one maxed out. This one is 160. And you can see right now it has a whole bunch of ingots in it because that's where the furnace sits. So I've been melting a bunch of... Uh, I, I basically processed all of my ore already. And this is... You know, I've moved a stack of each into the mats. And then, so we've got our deconstructor. And it's tied to the grinder. Uh, input is the grinder. And output, I go to mats for the deconstructor. Because it's, it's basically mats that it outputs. The furnace, on the other hand, I do not put into mats. Because all the ingots, I just put it straight into ingots. But it's still the grinder. It doesn't really matter. Both the furnace and the deconstructor share the same input container. Because whatever I throw in there is to get ground up if it's ore or parts made a couple of emer uh, advanced constructors and then we have our mats container which is 80,000 SU uh, which should be fine which should be fine I don't see us needing more than that I can just keep filling it up from the other containers so there we have it um, I made I had three armor lockers, so I just threw them up here for now. We've got repair station. We've got another. This is the grinder here, 96,000. Okay. So, I also made a T2 repair bay for a base, which is awesome. But today, so the base is pretty much done. Enough that this is all I'm going to do with it. You can see this is just a repair area or a, a work sh space area. Um, so this will be where I construct vehicles or work on vehicles, repair vehicles. And you can see it's just, it's all held together by force fields and it's actually breathable in here. I have it oxygenated. So that's really cool. I can fly ships into here into an oxygenated area or I can like bring in the back of a big CV to unload stuff off of it and still stay protected inside of a environmental control. So I had to put this tower up here because it doesn't work out how to lay out the, <laughs> because they, because these are like five by 11s, I think along the top and sides. Um, the only thing that was five high, it was three wide, and that left one cube that I couldn't fill. One, there was one space I couldn't fill, so I just put, I just put blocks here, and I decided to throw the uh, ventilator up on there. Why not? I put um, um, the emitting texture and emission and emissive texture so that you can see it from a distance because you can't see lights from a distance watch the the lights will blink out yeah 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 I know I'm about to leave see the lights disappear but the emissive is still there That's another thing. It's very similar to a flare where you get a major distance off it, but it doesn't actually add any lighting. So flares don't really add lighting and emissive blocks don't really add lighting. At least not a significant and not, not as much as an actual light. Now underneath, I really haven't done much. It's all just concrete texture still. Um, you can see there's, I actually had to punch the, because the furnace is three high and the walls were only two high, I had to knock a hole in the floor, drop it down a section. I said, oh, I'll just put a cargo here. And I think this is the, this is my blocks one for right now. So the other giant one is my blocks two, and that'll be for like real heavy stacks of blocks. Okay, T 
today we need to modify this thing because it's a piece of crap. I don't like how the front end sits. We need to add some more thrust to it. We need to bring this up and out more. Yeah, it's just, it's, I don't like it. So what, have, what we're going to do first is we're going to take the oxygen. Uh, it's, it's unpowered, so we don't need to do anything, actually. That's fine. Okay. Let's make sure that we've made enough blocks. So that's our cooked food. Let's go to blocks. We do have 200 hardened steel blocks made. And, oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to knock these out. I'm going to retrieve these. Oh, do I, am I actually connected to anything right now? No. Okay, so that's fine. Oops, that's windows, regular armored windows. Actually, I want to put the armored windows. Believe it or not, I'm going to throw them in the grinder. And... Yeah. Is there anything else I want to throw in the grinder? I don't think so. I don't think so for now. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make the better stuff. <laughs> the better windows. There they are. I want to make heavy windows. So I'm going to make three of those. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I'm going to make five. Let's make five. Actually, I'll probably need seven. Let's do seven. Okay, so it's making those now. Excellent. Did we actually turn the deconstructor on? Oops. Go to here, devices, deconstructor. No, it's off. There we go. So I can just... How much is the energy in idle? Ten? Meh. Who cares? I'll just leave it on all the time. Because the we don't actually have any generators or fuel tanks. Oh, we do. I did put a generator on here. That's right. Um, I did put fuel tanks into. I haven't put any fuel in yet. Doesn't seem to need it. Our battery's always at 3,200 because we have 32, 3.2 k power units coming from the solar. Um, so that's just like the consumption 2.5. That's with the deconstructor going and it's still charging. Oh, the deconstructor finished. So when it's doing, I think that's the food processor working right now, cranking that up to 1K. So, so yeah, it's, I mean, I had the furnace consume that entire, it only dug into the battery a tiny little bit because I actually had uh, the furnace going to advanced constructors going, the deconstructor going, and the um, um, food processor going all at the same time. And it finally just barely was over the 3.2K. So it was like, okay, well, and it started consuming battery life. Uh, so yeah, we're doing good. It says there's a drone base here in orbit which is an I guess so I okay and then it is not going to be attacking us so that's good <laughs> it's like shoot did they have space base attacks now that's probably coming though that'll be another alpha but that that is probably coming. Space attacks. They got to work on the Talon and um, Polaris attacks first. So what I want to do today is we are going to mod this thing. We're going to we're going to lift up the nose and pull it out a little further. I think, or at least lift it up. Just, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like how it looks. 
if we move up one, so let's try this. We're going to nuke. Let's make sure we've got retrieve blocks. And are we connected to blocks now? No, no. So let's go back into blocks. We're going to just connect to that. We'll grab those for now. We'll grab these. I think that's all we need for now. Okay. And then we've got our T2 multi-tool. So let's start grabbing this stuff. I guess, where do I want to grab it from? I think I want to start here. And have that up one, yeah. So let's, let's take all these out. Not sure if I needed to take all that. I, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. So it looks like we're gonna have to nuke these because they're not gonna have anything to sit on. Grab that. Obviously gotta grab that. Vehicles do not have structural integrity. That's why it's not falling apart right now. Okay, so let's actually put all those back into our stack here of hardened steel blocks. And we've got steel blocks. but I don't think we're going to need any steel blocks. <clears throat> if anything, we'll be uh, upgrading the steel blocks. So what I want to do is... You know what? I didn't need to kick all that out. Is that damaged? It's damaged! I must have hit it with the multi-tool. That's the only explanation for that. Anyway. Um, okay, so I should have just left that bottom one, the one forward from that. So let's do that. So, no, don't do that. Grab the blocks. There we go. So we're going to block that back in. But we're also going to block this in from here and then we're going to come too high and then we're going to come up from here so we're going to do this I guess I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it, really. Um, and then, nope. Then we want to do this across here. Let's stay here. Yeah, there we go, there we go, this will work, okay. Pull that forward, pull that forward. Okay, so now let's start shaping this. So I think what I want to do is I want to do the one, two, one, two, and one, two, Hmm. That's going to be difficult, isn't it? So let's go like this. And then we're going to... We're going to... T2... 
to oh hey I got an idea let's do this let's try this let's pop come on pop that off pop that off okay and then with all that space. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's a massive amount. I could put I guess I could put like a artillery <laughs> the front. That would be ridiculous. This is not a combat vehicle. Uh, I'm not really sure if I like what I've done now. Do this? Do we do this? Let's see. Then we go three that. Okay. And then like that, like that. Have I done? This has to come out because we're gonna put, we're gonna extend that, and then it's gonna drop down. We extend that. Here, let's just keep working. I, I don't know. I don't know now. Looks like a freaking duck. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, and then got four more, so we can do the go like this, and then on this side like that, and we'll have to do the seam like there and there. Okay, and then I guess we can just go like that. Like that. Okay, so now How do we... wonder if I should... Go like this? Then bring it in. Let's try. Let's 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 see. Actually, here I'll just do it to the one side first, if we can figure this out. So, I think what I want to do is I want to bring. Oh. 
see this? This is three squares right here. Three by three. That is the perfect shape of, you guessed it, a turret. Okay, so you know what? I think we'll instead go like this. And we'll, no, I, yeah, I know. Three rocks, and we'll do this back one like where it was originally. So that's there. things ugly as hell let's um so there's going to be a turret right here or hmm sure what to do now. I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't really like any of that. Can we have multi height I don't think that would work because of where the elevator comes up unless we don't have an elevator going up we don't have to have the elevator coming up do we let's scrap the elevator coming up oops no just just the elevator not everything else oh we need that part there to get up there okay so let's do redo that. <laughs> let's grab it. Elevator blocks. Thank you. So we'll do that there, and I guess we're gonna replace that one. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, if that's the case, let's. Now that we're doing that, let's really, really dig into this thing then. So we're going to have turret here. So let's do boom, boom, boom. Boom. And then we're going to have a turret up to there. So what do we have left? We have one, two blocks in between the tur turrets. Okay. Okay, so I think what we can do then is we can come down on a real heavy angle here. On a full slope. What am I doing? Yeah. There we go. And then it's already looking better. <laughs> it's all it's already looking much better, isn't it? We could put four well, we can put three more turrets on. We're gonna put three more <laughs> turrets on. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just seems like fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, where do we... Where do 
do we do here? What do we do here? Do we do the full slope down or? <sighs> so what I'm meaning by that full slope down. So if we go like this, like this. fit we can do the we can do where are you it's not that one is it that one maybe it is no it's not that one it's comes down the whole way comes down the whole way. Where is it? Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the one I want. Yeah, that's what I want. And then we can just do a full block, I guess. Block to here at least. Uh, what do we do here? Do we do the I mean I could do a full block and then want to do a full block. What about... I don't think we're going to get anything to match up there, though, are we? Or there. <sighs> or is there? I don't know. We've got so many bizarro ones now. Oh, that gets wider. Okay, that ain't gonna help. That's the opposite of what we wanted. So we want a narrow and then it goes thin. So we want a half wall and then going thin instead of going really fat, so it's going to taper down to a point like this, but that cut off. So we just want this chunk. I don't see it. We want this, except slipping down. Uh, I don't think they have that. I don't see it. No. Okay, so what's our other alternative then? What's our other alternative? Um... Not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. Why can't I see it? Uh, I don't want to do round crap. <sighs> well, we've got this. Oh, is that it there? Does that slope down? Oh, it's a, no. It's a funky, funky one. Um, oh, if that, that would have been really good if that was. 
this is the only half triangle. Okay. We might be able to work with this, though. Okay, so there we go. So if we go like that, and then isn't really how I envisioned it, but just have it there. And then we can just I mean, I like uneven angles. It gives character and we can texture all that. Okay, so what if we just did now that's a f only a half one, right? So let's flip that and spin that around. Oh, that. How does that look? To tell you the truth, I don't really like that. Let's um let's get rid of this. Cause I think I'd rather do Oh, see, because then that, that doesn't work either. Okay, so There we go. We just figured it out. <laughs> yeah, I just figured it out. I'm like, oh, wait, we can just do the... Where are you? No, it's in this blocks. We can just do this. Right? Can't we? What the hell am I... Is that not... Oh, there, it's because it's that one. I'm like, what the frick? How is that not fitting? There we go. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay, and then let's give this guy his little nubule back. Okay. don't mind it so bad. It's actually not as bad as it was. It's not as bad. Yeah, it's not as bad. I mean, I guess I could put I could put the um, No, it's a tiny little vehicle. I don't need to jump up on the roof. I don't need to get up on there. Just need the bottom ground access is fine. Okay, so not really sure if I need all these blocks up here either. Let's um, let's actually nuke these. I'm gonna turn my shoulder light on because it's so freaking dark. Probably the whole video is in darkness now, right? <laughs> Stupid, stupid me. Okay. So, what do we have here? Let's just duplicate what we did now. 
So that is going to be the slopey one. Okay. So we go. Oh, that's yours. That's yours. You take this one. Had it right, like that, and then like that. There we go. And then we'll just uh, we'll just finish this off. Oh, I would never get it to sit right by doing it that way. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then, so this here is one of, one of these, and there, and then this is that guy, and then we just, oh, I could have went up that you know what I, I like it the way I did it over here because it makes it look more it brings that line back down This is fine. This is just fine. Okay. 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 wonder I wonder let's let's take a look maybe we can actually use one of the newer style landing gear over here I think we can put the retractable style in although I'm not sure if they're airtight let's take a look let's take a look so we've got these landing gears, because there's new ones now, right? See, see this one here. What is it? It's one by two, airtight, true. One by two by one. That's perfect. That's what I want. And then we just slot that right into the hole like that. Look at that. Right there. Oh, it's retractable. Well, they all are, but still. And that seals that off. Okay. Oh, I don't like that, though. Let's change that. Nope. Why, why can't I move? Oh, there we go. Nope, I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh, because the landing gear is there. But it's not. But it is. See? It won't... <laughs> oh, fun times. Okay. Uh... No, I can turn my... I can just use the gravity generators from the base to generate gravity for us um, okay well that looks like hell so we can hmm you're gonna have to redo those that they're all in the wrong spots now 
if I flip that around, it won't be so bad, right? So let's nuke him. We'll nuke him. Okay, before I start doing too much interior decorating. Now I wanted to nuke this guy, I want to nuke this guy, and we're going to replace them with these, because, oops, I had it. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, much better. That's better. That's better. It doesn't look so... I guess I could have done half blocks there. No, that's fine. You know, that's fine. And now we can move this up now. We don't have to have this here. So we've got more space. Okay. Okay, so we can put... Hmm. Well, let's put the cockpit back in. Right? Because then at least it's flyable again. Oh, oh, because I was standing there. I'm like, why wouldn't it let me place it? And right there. Okay, so let's jump in. We're going to hit Y. We're going to hit V. We're going to Alt Out and we're going to go up, then we're going to come down, and there, oh, there it comes out. Well, no, and then it didn't. Oh, come on. Where's my, okay, there, there we go. Yes, thank you. It came, <laughs> that's all I was trying to get it to do is the landing gear to come out and be all sexy for us. There we go. There we go. Moved it forward. There we go. It won't be so... It looked wrong all the way back. Okay. Okay, we can turn that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we want to add some thrusters too. So if I come down like this, I can go like this. Walk over to here, and we can just go like this. Advanced constructor. I want one more thruster on each side. I want two more down thrusters. I want two more back thrusters. Not sure if I'll need the front thrusters. So two down, two back, one on each side. That's six. Okay, so let's get making those. Six of the medium CV thrusters. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Because I only have the, the one small one left. And you know what, if that's the case, there's no point in even having the small one. Let's just um, throw that into the grinder. There we go. Uh, you know what, I don't want that crap either. We can throw that in the grinder. RCS, we're probably going to need that now. We're going to need that one, so let's put that actually here we'll just stick that there for now okay so how's this doing do we have any made we've got one okay so what we want to do is where can we do these we can do the the forward thrusters right there and that would actually kind of fit okay 
side thrusters up top again, I guess. Here, let's let's spawn the drone. Hmm. I kind of want to spread these out now. So let's what I'm going to do is oops. Um, oh, we only got 21 unlock points. That's right. I couldn't get. See, I had, I had like 50 unlock points. I think it was. And I stupidly went tool turrets, and then when I went to click on drill turret, I'm like, what? What? Oh no! <laughs> so I didn't actually 